Hey guys, really quick, before we get into this video, make sure you like, share, and all important, help us grow. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you for taking the time to watch this quick review of an awesome game. Let's get to it. We're doing a quick little review, as you can see behind me, the playground studio area, gaming area, for a lot of our videos is this much done. And I've been saying that a lot, but really it is this much done. We've just got a couple of lights to put up and it's done. So hopefully next video will be in there. We're going to be doing a video of the inside of it, so stay tuned for that. But this episode, I'm just going to take a quick moment to talk about the Nintendo Switch Rustler game. This is a very underrated game in my opinion. If you've ever played this or if you haven't played this, it's a spin-off of GTA, I would say. It basically is a spin-off of GTA. It's in the medieval times. And when I say GTA, if you haven't played this, it's um, like playing the original GTAs when you have the aerial view and everything, of course, is seen from above. You can see um, there's no close-ups anything like that. Everything is an aerial view. It's a lot of fun, a lot of great missions. The dialogue is uh, a little funny because the main character, which is right here, Guy, his name is Guy, when he talks, it's... <laughs> And the other, you know, other guys that talk or ladies that talk us. <laughs> and very weird dialogue. <laughs> if you play the game, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't played the game, you'll understand when you see, when you hear the dialogue. It's really funny how they talk. But other than that, if you've played GTA, it's like GTA with a medieval spin. You can steal horses. You'll have knights that are the uh, police officers at the time, and they're chasing you. They've got lights on the horses as they're chasing you down. Um, you'll get all kinds of guys from crossbows to swords to guys with um, spears coming at you, and they're really trying to stop you and condemn you or put you in prison, jail, what have you. So uh, that's a lot of fun. Um, you can steal horses, like I said. Um, a lot of the missions are a lot of fun because it's it's anything medieval that you can think of. That's what it is. There's um, missions or missions, or, well missions, where you've got to find the witch and you got to take her to the Spanish Inquis Inquisition. Um, you've got to help um, your friend who's trying to get you into a big tournament, which is the main plot of the story. Is guys trying to win a tournament because. The main villain is the guy that's um, he kind of runs everything around. Um, again, this is this is a really great game. I would not be talking about Rustler if I didn't think it was a good game. It's got a lot of fun side missions you can do between racing, weird missions on there, but a lot of fun ones too. I really enjoyed the horse racing. Um, you can get all kinds of weaponry. Guy can use anything from a stick to a spear to an axe to crossbow, a sword, an Excalibur sword, a regular sword. Um, there's even one where um, you can get that it's really silly, but it's funny when you do it. It's either cow or horse manure, poop, whatever. And you can use it to throw at people. You can use your stick and light it on fire to, to light torches and to light up, you know, on missions, you gotta light certain things and catch them on fire, what have you. So this is a really fun game. I just recently beat it. it. Took me about a month and a half to beat it because I was really taking my time because you know as a parent got to do my duties before I play my games. But um, all in all, I, I even when I beat the game, I thought I was actually done, but I realized I didn't do all the uh, side missions. So I've got to go back and get the side missions done. Even though the game is officially beaten, I still have I'm at an 88 out of 100 percent because of side missions, which I'm trying to do those now. A lot of them are just horse racing, jousting. Um, stuff like that. Just little things that you're just trying to accomplish and you've got to win. Um, some of them are also medieval fighting, which is, a, that was a lot of fun. I think I beat 10 out of 20. There's a lot of them. It's a lot of fun though, because everyone is one-on-one -on -one with weapons or two-on-one -on -one or three-on-one -on -one or what have you. But again, if you've never played Rustler for the Nintendo Switch, highly recommend it. A lot of fun. Be cautious if you have kids and you want them to play it. Because um, even though there is no actual dialogue, we, um, you have to read. There is language in there, and uh, kind of just, you know. Anyways, so you know what I'm talking about. But the dialogue itself, and what they actually use in it, on top of while you're reading, just the grumbling and the mumbling and the woo -doo -doo -doo, it's weird, but it is funny. It gives you a little bit of a, the first time you hear it, you'll probably laugh. But other than that, guys, Rustler 
is a game that I bought on sale at GameStop, and I was really skeptic of how good it was, so I really did give it a shot. I played it. I really enjoy it. Nothing complex, nothing super hard about it, easy to learn. Um, it's an all-around good game. So other than that, guys, if you've never played Ruster, give it a shot. Uh, maybe you can find it. I, I didn't check see if it's on uh, Switch's downloadable games or not, but I paid 10 bucks at uh, GameStop for it, and that was on sale. So this is the first copy I've seen since I've been to comp, uh, GameStop. I have not seen another copy, so you might maybe want to order it. I don't know. Anyways, Rustler, Nintendo Switch. If you played it, let me know in the comments. If you haven't, let me know what you think because if you like GTA, the original GTAs with the aerial view, you will, I think you'll like this. Medieval spin, a lot of fun. That's my review. I just wanted to talk about it. If I had to give it two thumbs up, or two thumbs down or a thumb up or a thumb down mix mix and match i definitely say this is a fun game i really enjoyed it two thumbs up for me highly recommend it and i paid 10 bucks for it so i can't go wrong thankful that i paid 10 bucks for a game that i really did enjoy um stay tuned for a video guys of the playground which is coming really really soon we're also got some other videos coming out so stay tuned again guys thanks for watching like share subscribe subscribe Thanks for watching. We appreciate your support. 